Oh, this better not lead me to some back-ass end way for me to get through here. Crap. Crap! I just found a, a different way. Oh, oh, shit! Never mind. Um... <laughs> I found... Something completely different. People, hostile people. It is good and safe on my ear. that oral cemetery song. Okay, I'm gonna use a bio cell because we have nine of them, and I really want my energy as I knock these guys out. Okay, that's not good. I can be seen by the guy all the way inside of the the building there. The main labs. So that means I can't go right. I have to go left. You heard it? Oh, Fuck! <laughs> Oh, shit's about to go south. Let's reload. <laughs> Let's reload real quick. I didn't expect that guy to come out. I tried to shoot him from before, but he was hiding out behind a wall or something. Or maybe he just wasn't visible? I don't know. Oh, shit. All clear. Climb, climb. Climb. That? Fucking what the fuck was that? Okay, I didn't even have any buttons held down, and I vaulted over the edge. I'm not even like, I have my hands in the air. Oh, I when I press space to continue. Oh my god, it did it again! I haven't seen any of the cabbage trying to steal any product. Okay, alright. I can get by here without getting screwed over. And if I really wanted to, I could get through here without knocking a single person out. Oh! What's this? Uh oh. I just activated an electrical hazard! Uh, that doesn't seem like it'd be... ...non-lethal. What the fuck is Swan cleaning? Another ship. Ready soon. Okay. Can I toss these, by the way? That'd be awesome! It doesn't look like hand shit. Fine. <laughs> I wanted to toss beer bottles to get their attention. We should follow the chemist when he leaves? Yeah, that sounds... mean. We have to make sure that nothing bad happens. Ooh. Nope, that didn't do what I wanted it to. Ah, oh, God! Shit! Everything's going down real fucking south! Hey, friends! One moment, just gotta reload, and go oh, fuck me! So I reloaded my shotgun, and while I was reloading my shotgun, I pressed 2 to swap to my pistol to cancel my shotgun animation. It didn't work. Until after my fucking thing was done. And then it did. And that's silly. Why in the fuck do I not have a reticle in third person? Can I do anything about that? Hold up. Gameplay. Reticle. Have I always had that off? I don't remember turning these off. Huh! 
Okay, maybe I don't like pickup outlines. Holy shit. Sorry, it seems like you might be getting zapped if you come over here now. Oh, these are Diwali thugs. Ooh. I mean, I wasn't planning to keep this anyways, but now I definitely don't want to keep it in terms of a save. Hey, scientists. What are you all up to? I'm not, I'm not going to kill you. I'm not a cruel, mean person like that. I have money. Please, not me. Shit, that didn't work. Well, it's a good thing I have EMP <laughs> EMP bullets. Tell them I was brave. So how long does that keep it disabled? Or is it a permanent thing? If it's a permanent thing, oh shit, that'd be awesome. No, it it's not. Okay, boys. Well, there's a lot of drugs here that I would love to take, but we're gonna have to go backwards a little bit. All right. This time around, I want to knock everybody out. I need to knock everybody out, and I also need to not get spotted by the turret or anything like that. I really hate that my save does this to me. Over there. What the fuck ever? <laughs> It just fucking says, yeah, you're vaulting over because you pressed space before the screen loaded. And it get, you don't have any, like, fucking main controls. I can't jump up. The chemicals have a reaction to light. That's why it is so dark. So I don't like that. I'm going to just save down here then. That way I never have to worry about the fucking up. Hey, hey, hey. They are so fucking smart. So I have my crosshair now, right? Ah. So if I pull this out and I aim in third person, I actually have an option. That's weird. It is good and safe on my end. And a few lights would hurt. the fuck is on the bug anyway? Wait, what the hell's in here? Oh! This is another way in and out! Well, isn't that something? Okay. I want to see something. If I shoot out this guy... Whoops. Do I have to... Ah! It's one of those kinds of weapons. I knew that it took a while before between shots. All clear. Not the fuck I didn't realize I had to zoom out and then have it manually cocked back. Alright. Now I do know. These guys have some intense vision range, by the way. Can I get my dart back if I accidentally misfired? No? No, I can't. Damn. Fine, whatever. Ooh, can I turn the alarm off? That'd be awesome. Let me save first. All right, we're committing to this. We're hoping that nobody notices all the people I've knocked out. Nope, they noticed. Trace program initiated. Oh boy! There we go. So now I can deactivate the alarm at will, ah! Okay, I was hoping I could just deactivate the alarm entirely, but that's not the case. Shut up, radio. <laughs> who knows how long? Can I hack in here? Ooh, we have the password for it! I'm Carcosa! Sweet! Intruder tracking. 
Awesome! Yes! I don't have to worry about it at all! Look at all these things! Oh, I'm glad I went up here. Disable alarm panels. I can't do anything to the turrets, though. So I'll just have to keep an eye out for those. Shit, I missed! Fuck! There goes my ghost rating! I was so confident. Okay. We're gonna change things up a little bit. We're gonna go back and we're gonna drag the body away. I haven't seen any of the chemists try to steal any product. The blue lights wouldn't hurt. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> no, 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 no. I tried to be sneaky. So in the time, within the next like 10 seconds, somebody turns around and faces this guy. I need to worry about that. I got you. I haven't seen any of the chemists try to steal any product. Get ready to escort. Yeah, it wasn't a headshot, but whatever. Oh. What the oh. fuck is <clears throat> Can you go to sleep faster? Thank you. All right. There we go. <laughs> he keeps up making noise. Whoa. Whoa. Okie dokes. Whoa, I can do a takedown on him from here? Ooh, hold up, I'm saving. Because if, that, if that's true, that means I drag him over here, right? <laughs> that's the perfect way I could have done that! I don't have to drag him out of cover now. Because he already is here! Perfect! With that said, I can still be seen. So we gotta be cautious about that. Oh, no, 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 what the fuck? Come on, it's not letting me move, it's not letting me move, what the fuck? Oh, you're kidding me. You coward. Okay, so here's what happened. I can't crouch over this ledge. I have to stand? To get over it. It's just a really big ledge. That's fucking ridiculous. Oh, come on, pop your head back out. Panic ending. Oh, there's an actual end to the panic eventually. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, no, I want to ghost it. I'm going to cheese save like a motherfucker because, well... Yeah, I want these guys to live. I want to stealth through here. I want to see what happens if I leave these guys alive. They're Diwali thugs, and I'd like not to shit on the Diwali thug day, you know? <laughs> also, I totally got fucking ripped off by the fact that I couldn't crouch behind cover. What the fuck? Like, you can't- you legitimately can't. I have to, like, hop. What the fuck is swung cleaning? That is ridiculous. Oh shit, there's a camera? No, 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 no! Over there. Fuck me. Over there. I have a partial here. They think they are so fucking smart. These jackasses keep on fucking noticing me! Stop it! I don't care about ghosting. I just want to not have to go loud and kill everybody. Or go loud and have to fucking... Knock them out in a panic with my tranquilizer. Because that sucks too. Ah, 
Alright. Enter. I'm Carcosa. Well, I misspelled it. I'm Carcosa. <laughs> I don't even know what part I fucked up. Full screen. Oh, full screen for the cameras. Nice. I mean, I probably should be using these to figure out what the fuck I'm doing. In terms of the locations of everybody, but I'm good for now. Alarm. Turn every single thing off. Wait, hold up. Ah, look at the turret! Look at the little lasers, that's cute. With that said, I still need to hack this. Oh no, I have to turn it on to hack it! No, my XP bonus! I'm gonna be really that legitimately anal about it. Turn on the alarm panels. So I can hack them. I should say beforehand. Just in case it fucks up on me. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. I think we'll be good! We're gonna kind of close! <laughs> One second, man. Alright, I just want to get the nukes off her and the extra XP. First try, script kitty. Alright, from the looks of it, there's only two more super hostile enemies left over. I have to attract their attention and knock them out away from the scientists so the scientists don't freak out. Or maybe I can just not worry about it in general, I don't really fully know. Hello. Who are you? How the hell did you get in here? This is a restricted lab. A neon lab, isn't that right? I've seen what your drug does to Augs. Hmm. Maybe I should call in the guards, hmm? You can discuss the ethics of Neon with them. Give me one good reason not to trigger the alarm. For starters, because I can move a lot faster than you. So how about neither of us do anything rash just yet? What is it you expect from me? I'm just a chemist here. Uh, warn. I'm here to warn you. Uh, dismantle. You make a product that kills people. I'm not living until that's no longer possible. Well... Yeah. You make a product that kills people. I'm not leaving until that's no longer possible. And you're gonna help me. Why would I help you? People have a right to... to disconnect from the world. To do whatever they want to their minds, their bodies. I see no reason why that should stop. Z, persuade. Hold up. I, yeah, Z, persuade. Things in Prague aren't exactly looking up right now. I'm not saying Neon is responsible for that, but it certainly isn't helping. Not me, not you, not anyone. Now, as resourceful as I may be, you know this lab better than I do. I'm asking for your help. You're right. Recreational drug use is not the reason the world is falling apart. If anything, riding the rainbow is one of the few things still... still holding some of us up. Why take that from me? Why take it from anyone? Let's see. Stubborn, defensive, and clever. Subject exhibits a fierce willingness to defend herself and her interests at any cost. She will be reluctant to acknowledge any responsibility for fear of compromising her self-esteem. Though she may be persuaded to take the lives of others into account, it is not a position that comes naturally. Okay, let's read through this. So, we saw that her alignment analysis triggered for Beta and Omega uh, mega quite a bit. Equally, actually. So, reverse psychology and make it personal might be solid. Uh, you're gonna use Suzu. I shut this place down, it's not only you lose your fix. Whoa. I could go with reverse psychology, but she's stubborn and so she might just be really annoyed. Riding the rainbow, huh? So you're not just a chemist who mixes neon. You're one of its users, too. I shut this place down, and not only do you lose your job, you lose your fix. I know, it's not much of a proposition. 
People like you take Neuropazine to combat one form of rejection. People like me take Neon to combat another. I'm sorry if some people don't like it, or if some people have bad experiences. But that's no reason to take it from everyone. Okay. So she actually triggers Omega quite a bit. I'm overthinking all this. I'm asking some high school chemistry dropout for information she probably doesn't even have access to. Information I don't even need. Bad things inside of tank, shoot tank. So obvious it hurts. I'll tell you what hurts. Toxic explosions. Neon may make people see rainbows, but it's not rainbows inside those reactors. My god, you would actually go through with it, wouldn't you? Please, I'll do anything. Just do not shoot the reactor. <laughs> You're making the right choice. What is it exactly you need from me? Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, so I didn't expect that kind of response. I didn't even read what I was going to say that in that last one. I just wanted to see the best response for Omega. And now she's scared that I'm going to blow the place up. All right, let's see. Anything I do is likely to cause an explosion neither of us want? Uh... I wonder how to best disrupt the synthesis process. Hmm. I'll do help me sabotage. I want to know how to best disrupt the synthesis process. Maybe sabotage those reactors over there without killing us all. Is that something you can tell me how to do? There's a fail-safe system you can activate inside the reactor room. It empties the tanks, basically shuts everything down. You'll need these biocells to do it. All right, what about the codes? The code to get into the reactor room is 7851. Inserting the biocells will bring up the reactor terminal. Same code. The only thing I can't help you with is the lasers. That part is up to you. Okay, so I gotta get in there and figure out my way into the area without touching lasers, but I already deactivated the lasers, so I'm not actually worried. Ha! Uh, I saw that she wasn't hostile, so I just dropped straight down, figuring we were going to have a conversation, and I was right! I don't know if it went the way I wanted it to. I actually wanted her to legitimately feel bad, not just be like, Oh, God, hold up, don't blow up the place, gosh. Well, I guess that's just a personality flaw of mine. I've told you all I can. Oh, no, Oaks. Well, I'm going to... Oh, no! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay, that was an accident. I pressed Q on the fucking... I pressed Q on the keypad to... Uh, the, the fucking keypad to hack it. Oh, alright. Otar Botkevli. Second only to Radich uh, Nico Lads in the Prague branch of the Diwali family tree. Otar Botkevli is... Old style muscle wrapped around a keen and agile mind. A native Georgian and a hardline expatriate from the criminal's organization, uh, criminal organization's earliest days, he has a strong sense of moral superiority and a firm belief in traditions. Seeing Russians entering the ranks makes him question if the old ways might be slipping away too easily. So he definitely wouldn't like it if I killed all of his guys. All right, here we go. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. I want the clearance because it gives me extra stuff! Alright! Access granted. Thank you for the extra nukes. Even if it has a chance to knock me or get me caught. Hello, pocket secretary. Is this gonna have the code in it? Because that'd be funny. Alright. You've been very stubborn about keeping the neon reactor codes to yourself. You say it's for our protection, that you're the only one who knows how to safely maintain the reactors. I think you're full of shit, Harmony. And so does, uh, Karzenbog. Sarzenbog. <laughs> Your knowledge of the lab isn't gonna keep you alive forever, especially if you find out that you're the one sneaking out product. Make no mistake, the lab is ours now. It belongs to the Diwali, and so do you, Michael. Yeah, she's the chick from, uh, that they were, they were mentioning earlier. Who they were worried about. They're like, I don't like that she's always in the back room. In the reactor room, all by herself. Okay, 
So there's a chance that maybe if I disable, disable the reactor, what's gonna happen is the people will run away. Is so that gonna be good? Seven. Oh damn! I tried to type it. Seven. Oh, I can use the keypad. All right. I'm not going to because I actually have a few functions bound to the keypad or to the numpad. So no, I'm good. I'll just keep on using my mouse. Okay. Just making sure there isn't anything super treacherous in here. Neat. Now I could hack it! And maybe get extra stuff. Hey, whoa, this is a big one. Alright, let's do this. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Firewall protection triggered. No, it doesn't matter because I got through everything. Empty tank trigger network alarm. Yeah, that sounds like a bad idea. Empty tank. There are things worth learning about any new street drug, especially one that's getting as popular as Neon. What is it exactly? Who controls it? How does it affect the people around me? I've heard enough to know that it's flooding the streets of Prague, drowning its addicts in color. But the only way to find out everything I can about Neon is to ultimately do what's right. Or to ultimately do what's right is to keep digging. Well... I took this out. I mean, we didn't get told about it. I'm sure someone's gonna be like, Oh... There's a chemics or a code or a lab somewhere around this place. We don't know where it is, but it's possibly underground. Deal with it, Jensen. And then I can come in and be like, I already did. That's creepy. <laughs> She's just sitting out there. Okay. You can't force me to speak to you. That's oh God. Here. It's done. No more synthesis. No more neon. It's over. You got what you wanted. It's over. You got what you wanted. But is it gonna really stop the production of Neon forever? I feel like that's sketchy. Like I wanna blow things up in there. And these guys aren't even fucking worried about it. Hmm. Maybe this guy will walk off to the side and allow me to knock him out. Damn it. Alright. At the very least, I can high jump over here. And then maybe toss something to attract his attention. There's a lot of stuff inside of this room that I would like to have access to. So I need something to attract attention. Now, I could get behind this area right here and just, like, sprint. <laughs> but I don't really fully know. In fact, I don't even fully know if there's anything I can fully do. Like, if I kill the- if I knock out the guards, will the people still panic? That is the question, I wonder. Today is a good day. <laughs> You need to relax, Brad. <laughs> Alright. Now he's gonna come over here. I'm gonna knock him out. I could also just shoot him from this distance, but I figure while he's out by himself, I can just punch him. Or he can get stuck. Oh shit. <laughs> as soon as I was gonna shoot him. Oh boy. Ah, oh, I punched a guy wearing goggles. Slash gla glasses. That makes me feel slightly bad, but not entirely. Alright. We're gonna dump this guy's body down here. 
He's not gonna have... He's not gonna be happy when he wakes up. Let me actually adjust him a little bit. Not because I want him to feel better. Because that's never gonna really happen. But just because I don't want him to get accidentally spotted while I continue to fuck around with these guys. All right, let's see what happens if I drop down and just punch this guy. That doctor agreed. Oh. <laughs> oh, I fucked up. I didn't have enough energy to do the takedown until just after I landed. I got to keep an eye on my energy levels a little bit more. Got you. All right, there you go. Knock the fuck out. I have money. Do not kill me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Okie dokes, folks. I'm just gonna take everything I can from here. Try not to stop me. Ooh, stun gun. That's good. Let me look at my inventory for that. All right. Examine. The Zenith Zap is a single-shot, non-lethal firearm built on a CA-40 10mm uh, frame receiver. It fires high-density electroshock darts that render targets unconscious. The weapon has a short range, slow firing cycle, and lengthy reload time. It is primarily for use against organic targets and is ineffective against security cameras, turrets, and robots. Well, I'm happy. We have my, my non-lethal alternatives. Don't worry, I won't do anything to you. I could. I really, really could. I have money. Don't hurt me. Do not kill don't me. Hurt me. I don't need. Well, I do want money. I actually would love to accept that bribe. I have children. <laughs> I don't think Neon's gonna no. disappear for a while. They already got tons of it. I'm innocent. I swear. Nope. Oh, nothing to worry about there. Turn off the radio. I just wanted to get in here without getting shot, and I mean, I succeeded. No. Please. Whoa, Versa Life. I guess they take... What the shit? No, they hide it out in the Versa Life packages. That's how they smuggle it around. I think that's what I remember. But I might be wrong. Okay, we're good, I think. <laughs> no, wait, we got a credit chip. I'm just making sure I got every single little thing I can before I leave this area. This is a fun little detour. Done. No more synthesis. No more. There. So now, even though I was spotted, I don't have to worry about the Diwali being all like, you keep killing our guys. Whoa, I can shoot those out? Would that kill people? <laughs> I'd assume the gas would kill people, yes. So I'm not even gonna experiment. <laughs> Who the fuck do you think I am? Of course I'm gonna experiment. Oh god, it affects the entire area! Oh! Collateral damage. Lord, protect me. I don't think the Lord's gonna protect you now, lady. <laughs> Excuse me, friend. Oh, here we go. Just gonna go ahead and put this right here for you. Okay. Farewell. Now you can die in the same method that all your friends did. I like that it takes a while for it to happen. There you go. Wait, I could have just jumped in? That's funny. Seven, eight, five, one. What does this do? Turns the lasers on and off. Oh, so I couldn't jump straight in if the lasers were on. Unless I... <laughs> unless I jumped between them. I deserve this. I'm a mean, cruel man. All right, let me save. That's funny. <laughs> oh, 
I can just narrowly fall through the lasers to avoid any kind of trouble if I wanted. So these guys are dead, right? Oh, they're just knocked out! Wow, that's a non-lethal- Wow, I could have saved myself some effort. With that said, I'm not trying to kill all of them, so... Oh no, I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up! I fucked up! I made a quick save before I shot that guy out of instinct, but that quick save was... What I had beforehand. Shit, I had to turn everything back off. Great! Well, that's why jump cuts exist. <laughs> Tell them I was brave, he says, as they as he just kind of keeps on panicking at the, panicking at the ground. Uh, it's actually kind of sad. I tried knocking him out without being seen while knocking him out, and they still panic as soon as you show up in the room. So they just panic in general. That's- that makes me sad, because I'm not here to hurt them or kill them, and they're still like, Oh, don't hurt me! Only the chemist chick was totally up for being... ...helpful to me. But she just already had that idea, I suppose. Now, I could have just reloaded my save... ...and kept what I had done beforehand, where I knocked everybody out with gas, because technically, they hadn't died. But I didn't want to bother with that. Oh, look at that, I can open the door from this side! Useful! Don't have to unlock anything. Alright. So, I guess now we have to head back up to the surface. I can go through here. And this is, this is just gonna bring me straight to the streets. I don't have to go through the beer area or anything like that. Oh! Yeah, no, that works too.